What's up ADL fans, Daniel Cohen here with another Tiger Bomb Film Room. Today we're going to be looking at how the Pittsburgh Thunderbirds use power position to create big play opportunities for the offense. In this clip we see Dane Meyer with the disc on the far sideline, looking to get it to handler Sam Van Dusen. Now Van Dusen has a couple options to get open. He can either come back into the backfield to get the disc off the sideline, or he can cut up line to try to gain power position. Power position describes a player catching the disc with downfield momentum, giving that player an unmarked throw. This is extremely valuable to an offense because with no mark, a good thrower can then put the disc pretty much anywhere on the field, with any throw they choose. This also puts added pressure on the downfield defenders, who now have to defend more space because there's no longer a mark taking away throwing lanes. With a hard fake towards the backfield, combined with Meyer's around fake to move the mark, Van Dusen is freed up for an upline cut, and he catches the disc in power position. Now, with forward momentum and no mark, a thrower's instinct is going to be to put the disc deep, especially if you're Sam Van Dusen and have an absolute cannon of an arm. As a cutter, you want to anticipate the thrower gaining power position and time the deep cut so you're at a full sprint right when the disc is caught. When Meyer releases his throw, watch number 81 Ike Kramer start his deep cut. He sees that Van Dusen is going to have power position and knows that he'll immediately be looking deep. The goal is to allow Van Dusen to transfer his forward momentum into a more powerful throw. With the well-timed cut, Van Dusen quickly gathers himself after the catch pivots into a backhand, and with no hesitation, floats the disc out to Kramer, who makes the catch in the end zone. Thanks for watching everyone, and be sure to join us next time in the Tiger Bomb Film Room.